Hey guys, welcome back. David Hughes with Theater Advice. Uh, today we're gonna do a walkthrough of a very cool theater, full reno that we did, and we're gonna tell you how we went from this and this to this. Welcome back after my amazing intro that we worked on. Um, so looking at this picture right here, obviously the little section to the right there is the bar area uh, with the shutters. You're looking in towards where I'm about to step down um, towards the screen wall. So that window wall is the screen wall. Um, you know, it's a nice wide room. It's, you know, 14, 15 feet wide. It's a nice, nice big space. Um, so that's looking in basically the, the, the table right here on the floor is kind of where the pool table is is going to be so that's that's looking straight towards the screen next picture is looking from the screen backwards you can see the nook on the left again uh, there was no cabinetry just kind of an armoire thing sitting there and we really wanted to not encroach the space but create space for for um, some of the stuff you'll see at the end uh, in the flyovers and b-roll i really want to create create some space for storage i mean the guy has from what I can tell, 10,000 DVDs. So we wanted them to be able to go somewhere. I mean, we're building him a movie space, so now he has place for his, you know, place for all his movies, and he can pull one at any time and play it. So um, now that we've kind of gone over, you know, what, what I walked into that first day, uh, now let's check out the space. Hey guys, welcome to this cool sanctuary we we built, uh, fully renovated from the from the hallway in, all new carpet, things like that. Uh, this used to just be like. A storage room catch-all you know maybe playroom for the kids when they were younger that kind of thing uh, now it has turned into a full kind of family sanctuary hangout spot pool table um, but we wanted to utilize a lot of storage in this space so you know believe it or not we do care about stuff like that and we do design things like that so we built cabinets into this back corner um, and then we built cabinets all the way around the room on both sides with this natural, uh, you know, this natural oak look to bring in that modern, new, trendy flavor with the gold and all that stuff, gold accents. Every single one of these is filled with movies. <laughs> so I don't think I've ever seen this kind of movie collection in a house um, in my life. So it's really cool. We'll do some B-roll later and just kind of scan by them all because I think it's really, really awesome. Uh, sexy pool table, totally different wood grain here just to bring in a lot of different natural elements and colors that match with the carpet and things like that. Really, really neat lighting. Um, as we come over here, we got the Row One Cortez chairs in gray. They match the carpet perfectly. They match the room perfectly. So this room is separated. We love to do these kind of big entertainment spaces where you can put the 133 on, play pool, Super Bowl, movie night. I mean, this whole room here to a 133 is, you know, right at 14 feet from the screen. It's really, really good seating. Um, we have got some sexy sconces on the wall over here. Um, just really pulled in all new, trendy, clean, um, fun colors. It's a dark room. Uh, when you're in it, it's not that bad. It shows up in photos a little darker. Uh, we did do a lot of white accents, like the white speakers. We left them like that because they already had the white grills that they didn't paint. They have all the white outlets still um, and things like that, the white granite. So it's, you know, there was, there was some white elements, so we didn't need to match them. The ceiling's really neat. Um, the ceiling got wallpapered so instead of just painting the whole room uh, blue there's actually an accent to the ceiling and it's actually really really pretty when the light hits at a certain a uh, certain angle you know you kind of see all the design all the way back um, really neat aspect so one challenge in this room that we ran into and you know again these are all just challenges right we come in and pre-wire the room we give instructions to, to other trades uh, electricians that kind of thing um, when we showed up the outlet and as you see, we don't have a lot of stuff we can do here with the ceiling, right? It's wallpaper. So the outlet was actually two feet closer than I had asked it to be. So we hung the projector. Um, it, there's about a two inch band around the screen. Client doesn't want to go down in screen size. It's not built yet, but I just uh, got with this contractor. What we're going to do is we're going to do a drop down box. We're going to have it wrapped in this wallpaper. So that way you don't even see the back of this uh, HDMI cable. The only reason you see this white is because it got painted because the geniuses painted our HDMI cable, so I had to run a very expensive bail into it. So we're not having any problems with video. This is the JVC um, RS2100, so the NZ7. 
uh, great projector. So we'll eventually cut this HDMI, clean it up, um, put everything in this box, wrap it in wallpaper. The projector will be able to slide back six inches then. Um, it'll look way sexier from the background anyways. So already came up with a fix for it. It's not a big deal. Um, probably won't come back and talk about it. Might pop a picture up or something and do a short with it once it's done, but really cool idea. Uh, we just finished it recently, so we're still working through some, hey, we had an issue, you know, type situations. Uh, but great projector, obviously, very, very bright, phenomenal um, with HDR, if that's your bag. It's not my bag, but um, you guys keep giving me a hard time about it, it doesn't matter. Um, I love the front. Uh, so the front, I had this idea, because of all the, all the woodwork in the back and, and the bar area and things like that, um, I went with Kef's uh, R7s. So these are Kef R7s, and they are in the uh, kind of like their walnut color. And what, what I really love about these speakers is when you take the grill off, they're rose gold. So they have rose gold drivers, rose gold tweeters. I just really think they're really badass looking. Um, and it pulled the same wood elements that are in the back of the room up here in the front. Um, custom cabinet, obviously, it wouldn't fit the center channel like that otherwise. Center channel's pulled all the way up to the front. It's not getting any echo or, or weird reverb or anything like that. We have it on a little pad. Um, so it works really well in the space. Uh, cabinet is colored, wall color, same gold accents and pulls. Um, two Kef Dual 12s. We just wanted to keep everything the same brand um, in here. But the wood accents with the speakers um, and, the, uh, and the navy blue really just kind of, it just really works in here. It's an amazing space. 133 inch slate 1.2. Uh, zero edge screen works phenomenal with a projector of that quality. Again, don't be buying a $12,000 projector or whatever this is and a crappy screen from Amazon because that's like taking a Porsche, taking the engine out, putting a Honda Civic engine in it, calling it a Porsche. It's not. Unless you're getting all the money you paid for over there, uh, which is how you, is which is the screen always, then you shouldn't even bother with this. Just go get a, you know, presentation projector from Amazon and or Best Buy and call it a day. If you want to do it right, do it like this. Um, the bar behind you is actually really cool. He hasn't any put any decor up yet. The shutters are all painted wall color, so you almost don't see them. The windows are there. He didn't want to mess with those. We already, as you saw in the before pictures, had to deal with um, a window on the screen wall, so that was that was one thing, obviously. And uh, you know, if you look at the win the windows in the screen wall, uh, or the windows in the before picture, you can see we're in that screen wall. So there'll be some decor on these, you know, gold pull down shelves and stuff like that. Granite is just an amazing pick. Um, it's gray, but it's got a copper and gold pulled into it. So you can see the uh, the gold striations and all of the copper here. They got the yellows. I mean, straight up like actual shiny copper all the way throughout here. Uh, really, really cool granite and uh, totally matches all of this copper gold, you know, kind of colors. Seating area for, you know, just hanging out, eating, extra seating for people. And, uh, you know, this is just kind of what we do. You know, customers call us, they have a space, they don't know what to do with it. It's raw. I mean, it's it's got weird bump outs. They got windows and they're just stressed out about, hey, what can we really do with this space? And we always have some kind of vision. Um, on this one, I pulled in an interior designer even just to make sure all the colors, you know, matched and things like that. And, uh, you know, lighting choices were good and things like that. We work with a lot of uh, interior designers that we love. So I pulled one in on this project. Um, and then, you know, we just kind of, we kind of collaborated with it. But uh, yeah, if you have a project like this, we're certainly the people for that. Please like and subscribe as always, and I uh, hope to see you next week. Thanks.